Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And today you join me, I'm in a location that I haven't been to in probably, I don't know, 10 years, I would say. I came here when I was just really getting big time into photography and I started to use my filters. And this is one of the spots where the filters just blew me away because I was able to get some long exposures and also use my polarizer to see down into the water. The water here is crystal clear and it's an area where a lot of people go swimming. So they go swimming around this island here and back around and back in to where they start out from here. But today I decided that I wanted to come out because I was looking at the weather forecasts and it was cloudy at home. But I'm starting to use a website which has been created by another photographer, actually a YouTuber, Christian Elmer, who has created a thing called Fortress. And what that is, it gives me alerts onto weather changes. Now, it was cloudy, clagged in, grey day back at home, but on the forecast in the afternoon, he predicted that the clouds were going to clear and we were going to have some light. So I've decided to see and test it. And guess what? I do have some nice light. The clouds have cleared and it's supposed to be gappy clouds as well for the evening. So perfect for what I want to photograph here today. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up a couple of shots and I'm going to use these rocks here as leading lines and then I'm going to introduce my tripod as well. But what an absolutely fantastic afternoon. It is so calm here, so beautiful and I'm hopeful now that I'll get some nice shots as well. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's go. Now I've put on my polarizer here and I'm gonna jump over into this camera and show you what the power of a polarizer is. The sun is just at my over my right shoulder, which is around 90 degrees, which is perfect actually. So I'll jump over to this camera here and I explain to you what I'm thinking. So now if I look at this here with the polarizer on, it's not engaged and you can see that you've got the shine all around here. So if I now twist my polarizer, you see how that's getting darker, but there's this finite detail of where you can actually go because if you go too far, you lose that polarization. So looking at the sun, that is a perfect position here. That area here is gone completely dark. If I take it off again, you can see, I can see into the water. Now, that's the first thing that I'm going to do. The second thing then that I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my 10 stop and I'm going to go for a long exposure. Now, what I like in relation to this image here is up here are these two trees. You've got this moving out into the ocean and then you've got that side of the island as well that's over here also. And then this rock here below acts as a nice kind of anchor, or more or less in the center of the frame. Now the tide as well is coming in, so this is going to fill up with more water. But as you can see, the water here is almost calm, but it is crystal clear as well. So I'm going to introduce my 10 stop, I'll probably go for as long exposure as I can get, and then I'll talk you through after I get that shot. Now I've scrambled over here, probably around maybe 15 feet from my first image. And what struck me is how calm and peaceful and relaxing this place is. All I can hear is the sound of the waves as they're just kind of trickling over below me. I've got the seagulls around me as well. There is no wild wind. So, you know, I'm on the Atlantic. I'm at the coast of Cork, but as you can see, it does get calm and it doesn't always have to be absolutely energetic. Now, for the next shot that I've done, I've decided to come up a bit higher and I'm at 16 mil and I'm framing in the area here below me because there's a large 
body of water, but there's a lot going on underneath it. And by using the polarizer, I can cut through that glare, and that can help me as well then to kind of create more of a mood within the image. The sky is quite clear, a bit of cloud on the horizon here, which is actually helping. Uh, the sun is behind the image, so I have to be careful of shadows. And I've still got my polarizer and my 10 stop on, and I'm going for a 30 second exposure, framing it up with this below me here and then fading off into the distance. And then the trees that are up here as well are still at the top of the frame. So yeah, here's the next shot. Nice and relaxing, I think, for today. So I'm gonna move over this way here because I think I spot one which will be nice next. So here's this next image. Talk to you after I get over here in a moment. Now for the next shot, I've come over here onto these rocks and I have a rock pool in front of me and I do like to be able to see into the rock pool. And I've decided to go into portrait orientation for two reasons. Number one, either side is not adding to the image, but number two, the sun now is shining directly on me. So you can probably see my shadow here behind, which means that my shadow of the camera also is almost into the image. So I'm slightly to the left to kind of mitigate that as much as I can. I'm still at the same settings. Polarizer again is in use, my 10 stop, and I'm going for 30 seconds, my ISO is at 50, and I am at F11. And I think that's going to work because it's smoothing out the water in the background, plus here is pretty much calm anyway, so I'm able to see into that. But I do like the kind of juxtaposition between this and the moving water in the distance. I'm not getting much of the sky, I'm pointing down in here, and I'm also at 28 mil as well, just to really make it as much to fill the frame as possible. I spot now behind me as well, there's another rock pool, so I'm gonna go over to that now next. That might be a bit better. It's a better shape, I think, than this one, but yeah, here's this shot anyway now, and I'll talk to you when I get over here in a moment. I'm now over at that final um, rock pool here, and I think actually this is much better. There's a nice angle within that, so there's a nice triangle leading out to the ocean. It's framed either side as well by the headland, more so on the left than the right. But again, settings have stayed exactly the same. I think, you know, I said a moment ago that you know, seascape photography or coastal photography in this case, because my feet didn't get wet, is doesn't always have to be manic. It can be nice and tranquil, it can be nice and calm, peaceful and relaxing. All I've been doing is listening to the sound of the seagulls and the waves as they're lapping ashore. And it's the same for you as well because I'm going to make this video without any music. So hopefully you'll have enjoyed the calm and tranquility as well of this episode. I'm now on the handheld as well here because going across these rocks has been pretty much treacherous. They're all at an angle like this so it's very unbalanced as you say to walk across so yeah hence why i'm holding the camera here now but yeah I hope you enjoyed coming along in this episode. If it's your first time on the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and tune in next Wednesday when I'll have my behind the raw and I'll pick one of the images from this shoot and I'll talk you through on my editing process at that point. So, until the next time, Schlange Fall.